Do you remember as a kid? Yes. And you'd go to school. Definitely. And you'd have like little packs of like candy like this. And it was like the best thing ever. I feel that way now. Like I remember as a kid like opening up my lunch and I have like gushers or something and just being so yeah. stoked. Okay, I understand now what you mean. Like gushers, fruit roll ups. Yeah, or like Scooby so snacks. so delicious. Oh, so delicious were the best. Yeah. They were the best. I can buy myself flowers. Run my name in the sand. Talk to myself for hours. Should we it have it up on here? <gasps> Freaking excellent. It's quite heavy. What if it janks up your shelf? Looks good. And welcome back to Foster the Meeple, a channel all about board games and war machine. Exactly. We are here today, first of all, for another episode of Board Games and Brew. Cha ching. What are we having today, Jeffrey? I have an orange uh, bubbly. I have a watermelon bubble. Water, watermelon. It's a watermelon bubble. Okay, if you're from Canada, bubblies are called bubble. It's because Michael Bubble, he's ours. We got him. You know what I mean? We are here today to do another pumped up Kickstarter. That's the sound effect. Am I supposed to go baja? Or is that something? No, different? that's a snapshot. That's a snapshot, so yeah. A Kickstarter is more like a paka or a pachow. Paka. No, what's a kick sound? Bam. Pa. Like a thud. <clears throat> yeah. That's what we're here to do. And today's pumped up Kickstarter. Kickstarter preview is on the Manhattan Project War Machine from Grail Games. Isn't it beautiful? It's right there. I That's the love one. love the art. The artwork is chef's kiss. This video has been sponsored by Grail Games, so thank you to Grail Games for sponsoring the video. And we are just going to tell you a little bit about Manhattan Project War Machine. Let's get into it. Our country is preparing for war. As its leader, your job is to grow and develop our nation to become the largest military power in the world. Deploy a skilled workforce, build an efficient production engine, and stockpile enough supplies to ensure that we march towards victory. In Manhattan Project War Machine, your objective is to earn victory points by producing and storing military goods in your warehouse, building structures, completing your government grant goals, expanding your company's infrastructure, and cleaning up any pollution that you create. On your turn, you must perform the following steps in order. Roll the action dice, take global actions, activate structures, and clean up and check for end of round. Once you roll your action dice, you'll be placing them onto the main board. You'll notice that three of the dice have worker symbols, the wrench, the top hat, and the star. They must be placed on the corresponding matching icons on the board in order to activate those workers. You'll also find a nuclear symbol and a lightning bolt symbol on the dice. The nuclear power symbol allows you to take any worker global action. Consider this a wild worker. The energy dice is used to take energy global actions, which are slightly different. They're not quite as lucrative as the worker actions, but they still give you a little something something. On your turn, you're gonna be taking global actions with your workers, which allow you to do different things, like produce, where you can gain the depicted resources, you can trade to gain different benefits. Maybe you get to upgrade your player board, maybe you get to clean up some of that pollution that you've created, or maybe you even get some victory points. And finally, you can also build. You can build different types of structures in this game, including government buildings, industry, and commercial buildings. If you do build a structure, you get to place that on your own personal structure board. In the next part of the game, you get to activate those structures on your structure board. Finally, you're gonna clean up and check for end of round. The player with the highest total number of victory points has managed to contribute to the nation's war efforts the most and is declared the winner. War. Huh. Yeah. What it isn't good for. What did you just say? What isn't good for? Say it again. What isn't good for? What? What are you saying? <laughs> I can't understand you. Well, now you make me nervous. It sounds like you're saying, what isn't it good for? What? What are you saying? What are you saying? War. Huh. Yeah. What is it good for? Yeah. Is that what you were saying? Yes. That is not what you said the first time. It is. Way to derail the video. It happens. War Machine. Manhattan Project. We might just refer to it as War Machine because that is what I can see the most and it just, it's easier Manhattan to say. Manhattan Project. War Machine. 
forever now referenced on this video as War Machine. War Machine. As I mentioned, it is launching on Kickstarter on January 24th. All of the links and information for that will be down below. This game is a dice worker placement game for one to four players. Yes, that's right, people. There is a solo mode. And yes, that's right, people. I have played the solo mode, so I could tell you about it. We should mention this is a early prototype version of this game. This is a prototype, okay? Very prototype. There's nothing on the back of the box, and there are definitely stickers on the dice, and that will not be part of the final project. Although, to be fair, I love stickers. I wouldn't be mad about it. The theme, I feel like, is pretty obvious. Manhattan mm -hmm. Project, which was like a big thing in history. It was the development of the atomic bomb. Ooh. Ultimately, the theme of this game is you are building out your war infrastructure. Rolling dice to place those dice as workers, to yep. further your war machine. War machine in reference together. to your industrial production. So essentially in this game, you're gonna be rolling your dice and taking turn by turn. It lasts six rounds over a two player game. The rounds are shorter if you have more people. Now, one thing about this game is when you take your turn, you're not the only one that's doing stuff on your turn, mm -hmm. right? There is like no downtime in this game. So you're going to roll the dice and you are going to be placing out your dice as workers on the main board and taking actions based on the dice that you're placing. Now, when you take a main action, your opponent gets to take a energy action, which is in the same vein as the main action, but maybe a little bit less. So maybe on your turn, you're collecting three coins. Well, your opponent might get to collect one coin mm -hmm. because that's how the world works, okay? You don't just walk around. It's a little give and take. Nothing. It's a little give and take, mm -hmm. exactly. As you are performing these actions, you are gaining resources, you're spending resources, you are spending resources to do different things, maybe gain some victory points, maybe you want to build some structures. As Jeff mentioned, you're building out kind of that infrastructure, you're building out your war machine, so you can build government buildings, you can build industry, you can build some commercial buildings, and mm -hmm. you put those all on your player board, and then from those dice that you put out on the board, you can bring those back, and then you can activate the buildings that you have. And they all do different things. Now, one of the things, as Jeff mentioned, Obviously, with the Manhattan Project, nuclear war, nuclear bomb, bombs, atomic, bomb. atomic bombs were a big thing. So one of the dice has an atomic symbol on it. So this mm -hmm. is part of like the thematics of it. And every time that you decide to keep one of those atomic symbols, you have to take an atomic tile. And in order to gain points from that at the end of the game, you have to be able to do a little bit of recycling and you need to flip it over to make it safe. Otherwise, it's negative points. Yes, because nobody wants toxic sludge. That's nobody a negative for everyone. Sludge. Literally, mm. nobody wants that. Throughout the game, you're also going to be upgrading your player board. So the player board kind of comes in a bunch of different segments. And as you continue going through the game, you can spend different resources to upgrade your board in different areas. Mm -hmm. So maybe you want to upgrade it so that if you're Jeff, as an example, you might want to get a billion government buildings. So you might want to upgrade your government tile so you can add more buildings. Or you can upgrade some other parts of the board to allow you to gain more resources or even better, allow you to gain more dice, which mm -hmm. we quickly realized is a really good strategy to try and do early on yes. because more dice is better. It lets you do more things, score more, more workers. Points, more workers. So at the beginning of the game, you are going to be choosing two different cards. One of them is a government grant card that is going to be a secret and that gives you some final objectives, some end of game objectives to score. And the other one's called a company card, which you keep face up in front of you for the whole game. And one of them might be a trade action. So you're able to trade a food for two coins or two coins for a steal. One of them might be that you can trade a resource in for some victory points, or it mm -hmm. might just kind of give you a little bit of an edge during the game that your opponents might not have. In a solo game, you don't play with either of those. In a solo game, you're literally just trying to beat your best score. Mm. So you're playing against the game. What's really interesting, and I guess I'm just jumping right into the solo aspect of this game. Obviously, if you're playing by yourself, you don't get to take actions on your opponent's turn. So it's extra strategic within that because you have less time to get more done, if that makes sense. So yeah. I really need to make sure that I'm optimizing my entire turn to score as many points as possible. Mm -hmm. because I can't get the free action every turn. I'm a big history nerd, mm -hmm. whatever you want to call it. Art in this game is very much like World War II-esque propaganda art that you would have seen on 
you know, flyers or advertisements to get people to come join the cause and that sort of thing. They've yeah. captured that that feeling very well with the artwork, in my opinion. Yeah, it's a lot about cargo. So you're thinking like the dice that you have are the workers, but the resources are cargo and every person has a faction. They're not asymmetrical factions, but you know, there's an airplane, there's a train, there's a boat, and there is a truck. So you're thinking about shipping those resources in order to kind of trade them in to build different structures. And it's just like everything kind of ties together. Well, yeah, like the war machine is not to be confused with Marvel's war machine, Very different. but the war industry was referenced as like the war machine, like mm -hmm. everything that went into making war possible, mm -hmm. the production, the transportation, the people, everything. That's like the cog of war, the war machine. So that's really what you're doing. You're, you're producing goods and influencing your ability to perform in the war. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. You're dealing in all of like the major commodities, money, yeah. food, steel. Yeah. Like those are the three resources in the game. And so if you want to maybe build out some government buildings, well, you're going to need some money yeah. for that. And if you want to build out industry, well, you're, you're going to need to have some steel. steel for that. And if you want commercial, you're going to need to have some food for that. So <laughs> it's very thematic in that way. Now, if you're wondering, is this game for me? Mm -hmm. That's probably a question that you have. Well, I would say this game is for you for obviously a lot of different reasons. But number one, if you enjoy the theme, it is a very aesthetically pleasing to look at if this is the kind of theme that you like, if this is the kind of artwork that you like. Mm -hmm. It is a relatively light game. It's mm -hmm. relatively quick. It takes very. about 45 minutes to play. I would say that's even being a bit generous. Like I think yeah. the more you play this, I would say you could get down a game in like 25, 30 minutes. For sure. Easy. I think if you like track-esque synergies, mm -hmm. like Rise or Tapestry even, or games where, okay, I'm going to go up on this track, which is going to let me spend this to do this, mm -hmm. which will give me more of these, and then I yeah. can flip this board. If you like combos, that is a really, really good point because even, you know, as we were playing, there's certain things that I'm like, I'm going to do this now. And then I'm like, no, no, I have to do this first because if I do this first, then I'm going to have enough resources to, yep. to do this because I want to gain these resources in order to spend them to buy this building over here. So it is very combo-y. It also has very minimal downtime. Like you have something to do on everybody's yeah. turn, which is great. It's not just putting your worker out and doing the thing. You have that phase, but then you also get to activate and put into action the structures that you've built out. So mm -hmm. you bring your dice over and then you've got more actions that you can do. So if you enjoy kind of cascading combos, bumping tracks to a certain extent and, yep. and dealing in those types of things, I think this is a game that you're really going to enjoy. It might not be for you if you are looking for kind of that more heavy, complex, like mm -hmm. crunchier game. It has crunch for sure, but it's it's definitely not as, I guess, heavy and weighted as yeah. some people may be looking for. Yeah, I think this is a, a good little like light middle of the road game. Midweight for sure. To get you know, people used to that kind of synergy. Yeah. I don't think it's overly complex in this in, in the synergy, so you're not going to get, like, necessarily get AP. There might mm -hmm. be a little bit of it. Overall, I think that this game is going to hit that sweet spot for a lot of people. So if it does sound like something that you might be interested in, definitely check out all of the links and information, everything below. Feel free to follow along on the Kickstarter. Once again, it launches on the 24th, so you can you got a little bit of time to think about it some time and think about it there's going to be obviously other content created on it so i definitely recommend that you do your research and watch as much as you possibly can yeah it's always a good recommendation in my mm -hmm. books that is manhattan project war machine from grail games thank you so much for watching if you are interested in buying games this one kickstarter okay we've already been over that but other games that are already out you should first start by checking your friendly local gaming store and for us that is the boardroom game cafe Bing. Thank you so much for watching. If you like what you see, please subscribe. We hope to see you again soon. And now we say goodbye. Goodbye. Later days. Jeff will have a new hat in the next video. I don't know what that little box thing is on the side of the screen. Something keeps moving.
What is it? The camera keeps going like this or something. Is that normal? Eh? Move again. Did something happen? Yes. Whatever. See? Look at the back look at the background. So essentially you are gonna roll the dice because that is the language for roll the dice. Anyways, very good, very nice. Show you all it. Thank you. To show you it. I bid you adieu. I was just gonna say that. And you do? I do. I do. <laughs> Thank you for watching. If you like what you see. Please subscribe. I had water in my mouth. Let's do that again. <laughs> I do. Well. I do. Well. I do. Well. Let us know if you like our new camera. Okay. Okay, bye. Oh, yeah, it does. Why does it do that? I wonder. Mm, your camera. Big world, a lot of smells. I really don't know anything about it, let's be honest.